So as you can see guys, the price of Bitcoin looks like following this expansion phase before going to the next Bitcoin halving. Looks like following up with this Weika price cycle because in a bigger frame we have found out Bitcoin has never had two consecutive red years in a row. So that means the upcoming year 2024-25 could be very very bullish because we have ended our bearish year which was in 2022 what is happening in the smaller time frame what is happening in the daily time frame as you can see i have prepared some interesting chart which is pointing us what could be next so before i do that before i start talking about it please please try that like button if you haven't done it yet and to those individuals watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell thank you very much now if you look at this price action of bitcoin here in a monthly time frame we could be in this expansion phase because we are nearing the next bitcoin halving and in history each and every time before we have entered to this bitcoin halving what has happened we have seen a very nice mark of face playing out markdown phase when we ended the markdown phase we found ourselves in this expansion phase where the price was following this rising trend line this yellow rising trend line but when we enter through the halving what happened after that the price of bitcoin went completely parabolic again markdown phase we ended this downtrend price found itself in this expansion phase this expansion phase was very interesting because we were also following this rising trend line and when we enter to the second bitcoin halving what happened after that the price of bitcoin went very very parabolic same thing unfolded here price after that had this markdown phase we found ourselves in this expansion phase where we were following this rising trend line but when we enter to the third bitcoin halving the price of bitcoin after that went parabolic so markdown phase has ended we could be in this expansion phase so even if the price during this expansion phase is going to show another pre-halving shakeout let it be because we have said this rising trend line will be acting as a line of support above 30,000. And once we enter through the fourth Bitcoin halving, we are expecting another parabolic scenario to play out just like here from the past price action. Yes, guys, the price of Bitcoin in our case is in this expansion phase. So once this expansion phase ends, once the price goes through the next or the fourth Bitcoin halving, you know what is expected to happen after that? The price of Bitcoin to turn parabolic. Then parallelly, we are also going to line up with this Wyckoff's price cycle yes guys this wake price cycle clearly indicates us the price of bitcoin has ended this accumulation phase or so-called an oversold phase this was the accumulation phase this was the oversold area and what follows after the oversold area price follows this mark of phase why mark of phase because around that area the demand usually gets greater than supply so which tends to push price higher and in our case if that is going to happen then you can see the upcoming months upcoming years for bitcoin is going to be very very bullish because the price in that case is going to head to us to form this overbought or distribution area and until then we have plenty of room to grow here to the upside and not just only that guys even if we look at this monthly columns in history we have found out bitcoin has never had two consecutive red years in a row so in our case since we have already ended this bearish year in 2022 in history you can see in 2011 one bearish year two consecutive bullish year one bearish year three consecutive bullish year one bearish year three consecutive bullish year one bearish year 2022 now the upcoming year 2024 2025 could be bullish so that's why guys that's why in a bigger picture things are turning very interesting for bitcoin so please do not worry if we do see another shakeout price showing another corrective move even if the worst case scenario plays out simply zoom out because in a bigger picture the price of bitcoin is turning very very bullish now if you look at this price action in a daily time frame using this Bollinger Band, you can see we might witness another squeeze here in Bollinger Band just like this one here. I mean, the price of Bitcoin could be forming another squeeze, which also indicates incoming volatility because a Bollinger Band squeeze is a condition that occurs when the Bollinger Band narrows due to decrease of volatility. According to John Bollinger, Periods of low volatility are often followed by periods of 
high volatility. Therefore, a volatility contraction or narrowing of band can foreshadow a significant advance or decline once the squeeze places on. A subsequent band breaks signal the start of a new move. A new advance starts with the squeeze and subsequent break above the upper band. A decline starts with a squeeze and subsequent break below the lower band. That means after the squeeze, when we see price breaking the upper band after the squeeze, right? When we see price breaking the upper band, what does this usually indicate? A new uptrend. You can see price after squeeze breaking the upper band usually indicates new uptrend. So in our case, we are expecting another squeeze in Bollinger Band for the coming days, which means the price could range bound inside this band before continuing our rally yes guys i strongly believe after some range bound even after some check out the price of bitcoin to continue our uptrend at least around 48 to 50 000 before choosing the trend duration because we know in a daily time frame even if the price starts showing weakness right we have extremely important line of support line for bitcoin support from Crypto on a buy sell indicator, which is still flashing us a buy signal, right? You can see along with that, we also have support from this Williams Alligator indicator. So the reason why we could continue our uptrend even after some shakeout, because we have extremely important support lying for Bitcoin here to the downside. And now another reason if this trend is going to show another correctly move, it will be looked as a temporary retracement because this exact trend line acted as a line of resistance which will be looked as a line of support before we continue our rally here like this because according to this bull flag formation descending channel breakout formation the price of today sits around 48000 range not just only this guys even if you look at the price structure of bitcoin using this double bottom formation yes we have already broken out of this neckline we are even testing the support from this neckline so if the price of bitcoin remains above 43000 in the medium short term then there is a very high probability of price continuing our rally here to the upside. But I strongly believe we will be seeing more of a range bound around this area for a while, even some small pullback before continuing our rally because we are waiting for this Bollinger Band squeeze to play out for a couple of days before breaking the upper band because upper band gets broken when the price is preparing itself for this new impulsive move. And now, now, not just only the double bottom, not just only this bull flag formation, even if you look at this descending broadening wedge formation, you can see we have already broken the upper trend line. We even came back to test the previous temporary race line, found support above it, started with this new impulsive move. Now, if the price of Bitcoin, right, is going to hover around this 43,000, even come back to test the support on 40,000, no problem. That will be just a temporary retracement because we are expecting the price of Bitcoin to end the rally only after getting attracted on this 48 to 50,000 range. And now, not just only that guys even if you look at this in a very simple way i mean i just showed you this horizontal trend line the neckline from this double bottom is holding us right now right this horizontal trend line is the neckline let's suppose that right so if the price in our case is going to follow this berry scenario a descending triangle where the upper trend line will be acting as a line of resistance lower trend line will be acting as a line of support so in our case if we are going to follow this bearish continuation pattern you can see price objective sits around 42,000, 41,000. So even if that happens, it is just a temporary pullback. Please do not get fooled because I strongly believe the price of Bitcoin has extremely important line of support lying above 40,000 here in the medium short term. And even if the worst case scenario plays out, price getting attracted on this 34, 35,000, let it be. Because you can see, we are fighting to remain over this monthly at three line, this green line, which sits around 30, sorry, 43,600 range. So if we fail to hold above this range, the next downward target is this monthly at two line, which sits around 41,000. So if we break the 41,000 as well, then I am actually expecting the price to get attracted around this December VCPR, which sits around 36,000. 37,000 rate. So even if this massive pullback occurs, I mean, even if the price of Bitcoin gets attracted towards the worst case target, no problem because even during this pullback, you can see we will be still forming a new ascending CPR. Ascending CPR only gets formed when the price is preparing itself for this 
new impulse move. So that's why, guys, that's why any sort of a pullback, you can see will be looked as a temporary pullback because according to the Stan Weinstein here in a weekly time frame, any pullback, any bigger shakeout around 34, 35,000 means a simple retest around this 30 week moving average. Because if you look at this example, after breaking the horizon, the trend line, after breaking the 30 week moving average, what does the price usually does? The price usually starts with a new impulsive move, but this impulsive move is more like this higher highs, higher loss continuation pattern type of formation. So that's why, guys, even if we do see another continuation price showing another corrective move, it will be looked as a temporary move. And price after that is expected to continue our rally because we know this bearish divergence is still there in RSI. Price is still holding above 43, 44,000. So even if the bearish scenario plays out, price, price getting attracted to the downside. I'm actually expecting the price of Bitcoin after that to follow with the new impulsive move heading towards 48, 50,000 before deciding the trend direction. And again, if you have any doubt, you should simply zoom out because in a bigger picture, things are looking extremely, extremely bullish for Bitcoin. So this were some of the quick updates that I wanted to share with you in this video. If you enjoyed my work, then please guys do not hesitate to destroy the like button. And one more time, if you haven't claimed your bonuses, by is giving around 30,000 in deposit bonus, Femex 6,000 deposit bonus, OKX 50,000 rewards, please check the video description because those are all free money available for our community members. So please check the video description, claim your bonuses now. So this is it for today. Until next time. Bye-bye.